Oh Lord, help me. Good evening, I'm Zach Scriven. Tonight we're diving into the tech and manufacturing world and adding a dash of humor because why not? Let's see how the latest Industry 4 news stacks up against the latest cat videos, shall we? First up, we have Boeing's leadership shakeup. It's like a game of musical chairs, but with planes. With engineers now in the hot seat, it's a reminder that in the world of manufacturing, it's not just about fancy suits. It's about those who can actually make the planes fly without falling out of the sky. For Industry 4.0, it's a gentle nudge in the direction of investing in engineers. Because let's face it, we all want to get to our destination in one piece. Personally, I think Boeing's next CEO needs to have a strong background in engineering, aeronautical design, and manufacturing. It's not enough just to bring in another corporate finance CEO. They need someone with a strong engineering background in order to lead the company back to success. I'm sure you guys have all heard this by now, but Baltimore's bridge collapse disrupts key U.S. shipping hub. Over the weekend, the Francis Scott Key Bridge decided to take an unexpected nap. It's the kind of thing that makes you question the structural integrity of your morning commute. But hey, it's a wake-up call for manufacturing, especially if we want our economy to keep trucking along. As far as the bridge collapse goes for manufacturing, this is going to place an increased importance on supply chain integration and digital manufacturing systems. Due to how the bridge collapsing is going to impact supply chain, now more than ever, it's important to have real-time visibility into your supply chains. Tech giants unite against NVIDIA's AI chip supremacy. The rate at which we're advancing computing is insane. We've increased computation by 1,000 times. Eight years, 1,000 times. Remember, back in the good old days of Moore's Law, it was 10x every five years, 100 times every 10 years. In the last eight years, we've gone 1,000 times. We have two more years to go. Now let's talk about the tech giants ganging up against NVIDIA. It's like a high stakes game of Monopoly, but instead of hotels on Park Place, it's about who controls the AI chip market. For Industry 4.0, it, it means that we're finally going to get some diversity in our AI compute hardware. No more NVIDIA Monopoly. It's time for an open source party where everyone's invited to bring their own chips. Google, Intel, and ARM are all ganging up to compete against NVIDIA. There's a new group they're making called the Unified Acceleration Foundation, or UXL. UXL is seeking aid from other chip and cloud providers like Google and Amazon to ensure that the solution can be deployed on any chip and hardware. Microsoft, which is notably not included in UXL, reportedly teamed up with AMD last year to start their own initiative as well. Kubernetes faces new hurdle with AI integration. We've got Kubernetes trying to cozy up with AI. With Microsoft's new tool chain operator, we're one step closer to a world where our th machines can think for themselves. Lachlan Evanson, a principal program manager at Microsoft, said that it's not easy currently for engineers to deploy AI applications on Kubernetes clusters. In fact, AI engineering is emerging as a job function to manage workflows between data science teams and IT departments much in the same way that DevOps engineers do for frequently deployed applications. Microsoft is previewing an open source Kubernetes toolchain operator, or Kato, to help enable organizations to achieve that goal. Before we dive into our Learning Lens Industry 4.0 highlights and bite-sized intelligence segments, a word from our sponsor, Moletam. I actually really love this hot sauce. This week marks the beginning of a journey. I'm embarking on a mission to chug an entire bottle of Moletam hot sauce from the Molotov Hot Sauce Empire every week until Drew fills this PLC programming role in West Texas. So if you or someone you know is an expert in PLC programming, looking to spice up their career in the oil and gas industry, reach out to Drew on LinkedIn and send him your resume. Trust me, my stomach lining will thank you. Molotov Hot Sauce from the Molotov Hot Sauce Empire. Reach out to Drew on LinkedIn and send him your resume. Trust me, my stomach lining will thank you. Ooh. Fuck, that's hot. And finally, in our bite-sized brilliance segment, we take a look at the evolution of domain name registration. Originally, you could register a domain name for free, but then it became a fee-based system. It's a reminder that in the digital world, nothing comes truly for free. So whether you're registering a domain name or chugging hot sauce, it's a reminder to read the fine print. So thanks for tuning in, folks. And as a reminder, in the manufacturing world, laughter is the best lubricant. So you guys keep those gears turning and I'll keep the jokes coming. I'm Zach Scriven and until next time, stay informed, stay innovative, and most importantly, stay thirsty. Good night.